Merry Christmas to all my smoking buddies out there, and welcome to the Smoke Report. I'm your ho -ho host, Jay Ty. Yeah, that was stupid. <clears throat> Try to be festive, that's the best I could come up with. This is our last show of the year, and it's a few days till Christmas, so I I'm trying here. This week, <clears throat> we've got some interesting stories from psych wards, plus more information on those graphic images the Food and Drug Administration wants to put on all of our cigarette packs. But let's start with the Christmas contest we've been running, along with our good friends over at MyFreedomEcigs.com, where one lucky viewer will win an Ego T electronic cigarette starter kit. After looking through thousands of entries, well, hundreds of entries. Okay, we got about 25 entries, but but one of them was a clear winner. <clears throat> you may recall, I jokingly asked for topless photos of women watching this show because of a story that we covered about cigarettes making your nipples fall off. Well, uh, <clears throat> some women out there apparently took me serious, so it seems. So the winner of the Ego T e-cigarette starter kit is Doris L, who sent me this picture of her melons. Well, I also received photos of jugs, torpedoes, knockers, coconuts, a Hooters logo, two balloons, and a headshot of Ryan Seacrest. Not sure what the last one means. But, but anyway, congratulations to Doris L, who will shortly be getting an email from the good folks at MyFreedomEcigs.com about getting you your Christmas gift. We're gonna take a break right now, but when we come back, we're gonna talk about the graphic warnings on cigarette packs and hospital psych wards. After all, what's a Christmas show without a few crazy people? of the 21st century, the SafeSig electronic cigarette. The SafeSig implements an innovative flow sensor to instantly turn itself on and off, eliminating the need for any power buttons. Since it's not real smoke, the vapor is virtually odorless, and it won't smell up your hair or stain your teeth. For more information or to order now, please visit our website, www.thesafesig.com, or call our toll-free number, one 866 9972332 you must be 18 to order in a story out of Regina Saskatchewan that's up in Canada, by the way, <clears throat> comes word that the Regina General Hospital Psychiatric Unit is closing its smoking deck to all patients. This deck was only accessible from the inside of the ward, so only patients could use it. Now it's closed. It seems the uh, mental health experts up there took away the smoking area from a bunch of crazy people a week before Christmas. Well, that should go over pretty well. Oh, but there's more. <clears throat> Some patients from the psych ward will be allowed to go outside the hospital to light up on city streets. So, <clears throat> let's review. In the interest of public health, crazy people are allowed to walk out of the psychiatric hospital to go stand on the street corner with the general public and smoke. That's Frickin' brilliant! Oh, but there's more. Remember those sick images the FDA wanted to put on cigarette packs? The ones that a judge said could be a violation of the First Amendment? Well, according to a professor at the University of South Carolina, those images get smokers' attention and are effective. Really? 
Well, who would have thought that a bunch of grotesque images would get people's attention? I got an idea. Let's put a diseased liver on every bottle of liquor. How about a diseased heart on every fast food burger wrapper? Why not put pictures of fat people on candy bars? Why is only tobacco held to a higher standard? We have a professor wasting time and money to tell us graphic, disgusting images get our attention. Wow, what's next? Perhaps a grant to study the effects of farting in a public elevator. Maybe we should fund his research about pissing on a live electric outlet. Eh? <laughs> My friends, it's just so stupid, isn't it? But try to have peace for you and your family this holiday season. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all in 2012.